Van Gogh was 37 when he shot himself, but in the last four years of his life, he'd changed the history of art. The freedom of modernist colour, the way that emotions are worked upon directly by optical means, was one of his legacies. As it was Gauguin's too. But Van Gogh had taken this even further than Gauguin, because he had opened up the modernist syntax to pity and terror, as well as to formal research and pleasure. He was the hinge upon which 19th century romanticism turned into 20th century expressionism. And as he lay dying, another artist, ten years younger and many hundreds of miles to the north, was preparing to take this process a step further. In Van Gogh's work, you can see the self scratching to be let out. But in Edvard Munch's, the self is out. And if that bony Norwegian face which he scrutinised and painted for 70 years, starting like a young pastor and going through the stages of bohemia and middle age to finish like a paranoid old Viking, if that face still haunts us, it is because Munch was the first modern painter to explore the idea of the self as a battleground.